Zach. Hello, Ellen. Happy holidays to you. The holidays are over, but I still say it because I hadn't seen you since the holidays. Well, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Did you? What did you do for the holidays? Did you travel? I did a little. I, I went on a vacation to a place in Mexico, this resort that had just opened, and there was no one there. It was like a ghost town because it was so new. And they showed us to our room, and there was an outdoor shower, which is the kind of thing that I wouldn't normally hazard. But I thought, well, OK, there's no one here. And uh, so I, I worked up the courage to take a shower outdoors. And immediately, we hadn't seen anyone, no one at the restaurant, no one at the pool. Immediately, two women on a bicycle built for two <laughs> went by. And the outdoor shower had a glass. I don't know why, but it had a glass partition. So it was a full, and then, uh, <laughs> and then a man with a wheelbarrow <laughs> came the other direction, and he had like a heavy load, so he's going really slow. And when he saw me, he tried to speed up, but it was really heavy. Oh my God! <laughs> and it was very terrible. I was trying to make a scrim out of wet towels because I, I can't subject the Mexican people to that. Well, know. seems like you did. Yeah, I guess I did. Um, I saw a picture of a little doggy that you rescued from China, which yeah. is, I, I have some friends who have also rescued dogs Aww. from China, which is a beautiful thing to do. So oh, good thanks. for you for doing that. Thanks. That's a precious dog. What's the name and uh, how old? That's Romy. He's five and a half months old. And uh, yeah, my girlfriend and I went to a shelter and we saw this tiny little dog that was just perfect. It was so sweet and calm and playful and warm. And then they showed us Romy. And uh, <laughs> Romy was like so scared. He was like clinging to the bottom of his crate. If you picked him up, he was like just catatonic. And my oh. girlfriend and I were both like, this is a dog we can relate to. <laughs> and I, t I called my friend and I was telling her, and I was like, he's so scared of the whole world. And he's got kind of a feminine energy. And she was like, oh, you basically adopted yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then right after we adopted him, the, the woman who runs the adoption texted my girlfriend and was like, how's Zach doing? And my girlfriend was like, oh, he's OK. I know he was a little nervous about getting a dog, but he's OK. And, she, and it became clear that the dog's name was Zach Oh. before we adopted him. So I had actually uh, adopted something with both my name and my personality. And personality, yeah. too. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. But then you changed it because it's too confusing to call your dog Zach. Yes. I'm not that narcissistic. Yeah. Almost, uh, yeah. <laughs> but not quite. You're in the business, but yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right. um, so Avenue 5 uh, looks very, very funny. Tell us about that. Um, Avenue 5 is a show about a luxury space cruise that gets knocked off course. And what's supposed to be eight weeks turns into an indefinite period in space. And immediately, civilization sort of starts to crumble. Uh, so it's sort of like a Gilligan's Island that turns into a Lord of the Flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good concept. Yeah. And you shot where, in London? Yeah, we shot in yeah. London. How was that? Well, the people I worked with were lovely, very sweet people. Um, pedestrians in London, not so much. Uh, they're kind of a cold, a cold people on the street, at least. I was walking down the street, like in LA, if you smile at people on the street, they smile back. In London, they look like, they look at you like you're a predator. I smiled <laughs> to the extent that, like, I, I, I was walking down the street in London. I smiled at this old lady, and she just went, no. <laughs> like, what do you think? What do you think? I'm just trying to be friendly. And I flew back to LA, and I got off the plane at LAX, and it was like, there was a Baja Fresh and a Ray-Ban store, and everyone's in flip-flops. And I was like, oh, the sweet superficiality of my yeah. home. I was, so, I was so relieved. Oh, my God. Back. She audibly said no. Yeah. She, oh. No. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, all right, we have to take a break more with Zach after this. We're back with Zach Woods, and uh, we're going to play a game. It's called Epic or Fail, and we're going to show a, a clip. And I, we can all play along. You just don't have paddles, unless you brought your own paddle. Um, <laughs> And uh, so we'll s show something, and then we'll hit pause, and we're going to guess if it's an epic or a fail. I don't have to see the rest. Yeah. It's already yeah. a yeah. fail. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we all feel that. But did you see? He Kind of Keeps started going. dancing. He danced a he's little bit. He's fully out. concussed, but he's still doing yeah, that limp right. biscuit cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see the next one. I think so. I've been fooled once before. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm going to go against you, you two. I just, just because. I'm a okay. rebel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Wow. Yeah, but wow. no. No. That was a. I stick to my, that was a, he didn't mean to do that. Right. Yeah. That was a dangerous yeah, tumble towards had, the ocean. He just had to keep doing it to, <laughs> yeah. Let's see the next one. I don't know. It's the last one, so I think we're going to end, I can't imagine that we're going to end on a fail, but all right. Impressive. Yes. Wow. That's very impressive. Yeah. That's how you play Epic or Fail. Avenue 5 premieres Sunday at 10 on HBO. I want to thank Zach Woods, Coldplay, Chris Martin. I'll see you tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Bye.